So if we're working on a mix in Pro Tools, and when you come in, you can bring your own uh, audio in to mix, or we can, you know, we can provide you with audio to mix. But Audience Pro Tools set up in preparation. This is if you want to use your own file for working in the audience. Now the reason why you have to prepare your audio, your files for working in the audience, because the audience only has 24 tracks. So if you want to have, if you have a, a session that has more than 24 tracks, you're gonna have to make it so it has smaller amount of outputs so it can go into the audience uh, properly. So prepare a file for working on the audience, download the file Bedrock just like you, put the tracks in the following order. So this is talking about using Bedrock just like you to use that to work with in the audience room. And what we need to do here, let me just go ahead and open up my Pro Tools real quick. I'm not gonna actually play it. Well, I could play it. It doesn't really matter though. We're not talking about playing. We're talking about like just making it so it works. So I'm gonna open up my Pro Tools and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tracks in the order that they need to be in. And then we need to set the outputs of the tracks to the following settings. And that's over here. You can see I've got a list of stuff. And these are going to go to bus 1 and 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. <clears throat> and each one of these buses, <clears throat> what you do is when you get into the audience, you will change those to audio out. So bus 1 and 2 equals audio out 1 and 2. Bus 3 and 4 equals audio out 3 and 4, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So 1 and 2, uh, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, like this. And these will all, these will just you'll switch these over to be the audio channel that you need. The reason why we use buses at home is because you don't have the inputs and outputs on your home system to match. So you couldn't say set up your home system to be audio 15 and 16. It wouldn't work out. So <clears throat> um, you can use bus 15 and 16 at home, and then when you get to school, you can use audio out 15 and 16 like that. Okay, and then color code your tracks. Go to the main. Uh, go to the menu window, color palette, and then be sure to set your settings for tracks and have this button on and saturation brightness. So let me just show you what I mean by this. Let me go ahead and open up my Pro Tools here and we're gonna go to Recent and we'll go to, where is it? Um, Bedrock, just like you, here we go. Okay, so this is like a basic setup. It's this one, uh, yeah, so this one is not in any kind of particular order yet. So let me go ahead and set this up with the right order. I'm gonna make this window here a little bit smaller. So you can actually see what's going on here. Put the tracks in the following order. So kick is gonna be first, and you can just grab it over here on the left and drag it up. You know the snare clap. And again, this is only if you wanted to use Bedrock for this type of stuff. You don't have to use this track, but it's just giving you an example of how to use it. So then next is hi-hats, hi and then percussion, and then cowbell. Oops, cowbell is here. And then the wash cowbell. Boom. And then your 808 bass, cool. And then you've got the sub bass. And then the slap bass, put your basses together. And if you're using, um, if you're using just like you for your project, you definitely want to do this anyway, whether you use this in the audience room or I mean in the uh, in the room or not. So the guitar dry, guitar wet, if you use this in the audience or not, if you're using this for your project, and then main synth style pulse, boop. And then strings, good, and then um I think I just got my glasses dirty. Sorry. And then synth pulse. And then uh, synth stabs. Right. And then uh, the Vox main. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn this one off so I can just right click on it and go to hide and make inactive and you can see here it just becomes like that. I'm gonna put it down the bottom. I should have put it in the bottom down here but it's it's not so just kind of put it down the bottom and then um, uh, your race car there <clears throat> and you can see here I don't have my track numbers. Let's turn my track numbers on here so we can just match them up. Good. Okay cool. Cash register is number 17 
and then the breath chance is number 18 cool and then vox main cla effects is going to be 19 and then return to would be 20 right and then vox low and then vox the way you move and then mid chorus and then mid, the chops reverb return and there we go boom return red line reverb great so we have all these here this looks really good and then um, what we're going to do is we're going to take these and let's color code them i'm going to do the color coding first and i'm just going to color code them you can color code them to any kind of colors you want i've got them set up uh, how i like them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in here to let's see color track color like that so we can see our track colors open up the window over here Mem uh, where is it window color palette boom <clears throat> make sure we have the right settings set so we have to have it set for uh, tracks and turn this one on yes and then brightness all the way up saturation all the way up good now we just highlight the tracks we want to set up so I'm gonna go here to these and set these all for red and then we're gonna set our bases actually the I'll use these for like orange more of my normal color and then these will be a red the bases will be red <clears throat> and then guitar dry wet is gonna be like this boom I'll make them uh, let's make them make them purple and synths and all the strings and all this stuff synths and strings and stuff will be this kind of like other purple color I guess blue color race car through here is gonna be yellow and then my vocals I'll make these green and the reason why I'm doing this is just to kind of keep things a little bit easy to see as I start to send these out to different outputs. And then we'll go back over here to this and then set these up on these different outputs here like this. So these ones here, and the way we do this is, let's do it in this window here. I'm going to highlight all these by holding down shift. And then when I've got these highlighted, I'm going to go over here to the output here and hold down option and shift option and shift and click on one and set it to bus one and two output bus one and two boom now they all say bus one and two you have to hold down option and shift for it to apply the change to all of them i'm going to go down here i'm going to change this so i'm not looking at f through j on my sins or inserts um, inserts and sins please deselect f through j down here at the bottom of the screen right down here inserts f through j turn those off you don't really need those right now and especially if you're running on a smaller computer like a, a macbook pro or something like that you really want to keep those off and then we got our base here like this boom and bus three option and shift bus three and then guitar here five and six option and shift five and six uh, our synthesizers is going to be seven and eight Bus seven and eight, boom. And then our, these ones here, nine and 10, boom, nine and 10. And then down here, set these up for different ones and I have them all the same color, but I'm gonna set these up for uh, nine, and, uh, what is these, gonna be 11 and 12. And I have them labeled right here very clearly. And you could do these one by one if you wanted to, but you can use this shortcut as well. Uh, the Vox Chops here, these are 13 and 14. And if you follow these, should work out really well for you. This one here is 15 and 16, the reverb is, uh, you can see these are stereo, the reverb and the return are gonna be stereo, 15 and 16. And this one here is 17 and 18. You don't need to hold down option and shift for these. Boom, there you go. So now, got this. And now we have everything set up correctly for when we go into our audience. And the reason why we had to do this is because we have 26 tracks here, but and they're all stereo, right? So if we were gonna set these up like normal, these would all be going into stereo things. Now, the only thing about this is that we will have to do some mixing with these drums individually inside of Pro Tools before we hit our audience because we're going all these out to one bus. So what I would recommend doing also is set up a master fader which i don't really talk about in here and then i would set up my buses what do we have uh 17 through 18 right and they're all stereo yeah uh, except for number three so one and two we're gonna have um 
eight of these and one mono aux track. <clears throat> I'm gonna put my mono aux track right here. So this is gonna be aux, uh, it's gonna be out one and two. And this one here, I'm gonna label this out three. And this one here would be out four, five, out five, six, out seven, eight. And I'm just, whoops, hey, 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 out seven, eight, out nine, 10. Let me copy that so it's a little bit, oops, easier to deal with. Out 11, 12, out 13, 14, out 15, 16, out, oh wait, and somehow, how do we, I, I got lost somewhere. Three, oh, these are wrong, wait, five, and six, okay, hold on, so this one here, 15, 16, 17, 18, this one goes over here out 17 18 there we go so you'll notice here a couple things one and then we can color code these to match with the other ones as well so for example my drums are going to be color coded here to match this and this is just organization this doesn't change the sound at all in case you're wondering it does not change our sound and then our bass bases are going to be like this and then this is, what is this, those are purple ones, right? Oh, the guitar is a light purple. And these ones here is the darker purple, well, blue. And I'm color coding them so they match what, what's going on over here more closely, 11 and 12. And let me change these colors here just, just because to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on. There we go, yeah. 13, 14, nice bright color, 15, 16. Oh, that was, this one here will be that. There we go. And then done, cool. All right, close enough. So now we can see everything is color coded to, to match up with stuff. And these here, when you get into the audience, you can change these here. And we just wanna set the inputs to reflect whatever those buses were. So this input would be bus one and two. This input would be bus three. Oops, bus three, bus five and six. And the reason why we're doing this is to so that we have enough channels. So we're using the channels correctly on the audient coming from Pro Tools because we have more than 24 channels and we gotta get things down to 24 channels. That's really, really important that we get things down to 20, 24 channels. There we go. And now we even have some extra channels if we want to split things off a little bit more to kind of keep track of things a little bit better, which is up to you if you want to do that. You could use all those 24 channels up if you wanted to. All right, so that's, that's that right there. And now you're ready to go and just save this, go do a save as, save as, and uh, make sure Bedrock, uh, just like you, Audient setup. And make sure you save that whole Bedrock folder. Now at this point, you wouldn't really have to do a save copy in if you didn't want to, but you have to make sure you, uh, you compress that whole Audient folder. Don't just, don't just uh, compress the PTX file. Um, so there we go. And these here, when you're ready, these would go out to your uh, your outputs one and two, out three and four, just, just send them out to audio like you have them labeled right here and you'd be good to go there. Okay, so that's how you would set this up for getting stuff ready for your school. And, and just apply this to whatever song you have. If you have your own song and you've got, you know, 40 different channels and but like 10 of them are drums or 15 of them are drums or whatever, then you can just set that up uh, with a lot of them, your drums going to one, uh, subgroup mix and so you can go with that and again you might have questions about this uh, which is fine uh, definitely will be uh, we can talk about them on on uh, zoom here in a minute
Great.